So now we have uh, another functionality called update geometry inside uh, 3DCS. So this is another important tool that um, uh, we need to know. So for example, uh, if you're in the middle of the process and if there is a change in any of the part geometry and you want this information to be updated instantly inside 3DCS, that hey. can be done in a button click. Yeah. Before you go there, can you zoom into that bracket and? Uh... And let's talk about one of the things, turn your mesh on. So when you're doing tolerance analysis, we do not, um, you know, redesign the part when we apply variation. And so any feature that you used in the MTM, move tolerance or measure, we will generate a mesh. So if she zooms in a little closer, Okay, you can see how that front face of the part, there's no mesh on it. It's not functional to our model. Those holes are functional and the back face, I believe, is gonna have a mesh on it. That's the mesh that, um, when, that's the mesh that we currently use when we calculate our variation. And that mesh is linked to the solid part. So that's why when we uh, import the SolidWorks GDT, that hole automatically meshes and it deviates due to the GDT. And then we just use that same hole for, for a move. Okay, so as you talked about this plate, uh, Gary, I would say, okay, for example, what if this size of the hole change in between the modeling process and how do we uh, take that information and update it inside 3DCS? For that, uh, let me just get into this part here. So now she's the designer and she's going into that part and she's gonna make the hole bigger. Okay, so now I have this hole diameter which is set to 31. So now I, let me make it bigger, set to 33. So you see the, the, the diameter got instantly big. And the gd &T instantly updated. Wow, yeah, that's right. So now if I go back to that part, I mean assembly, you can see how this mesh that Gary mentioned before is off the part. So and the reason this is, just so you guys know, if you have a model that's complete and you've generated results, you don't want to open that model and then not be able to generate that results again. So if you created a model and you stored it in your database system and you opened up that assembly two weeks later, prior to opening it, the designer made this whole bigger. Well, we don't want to update the model and change the results until you tell us to. So now this would still build and produce the same results, but you can see our mesh does not match the cat. Yeah. So now if I ch check a feature information on that feature, it still shows 31 because that means the mesh is still not updated and it's still hanging um, in, in this previous diameter. So now if I want to fix this, then I need to go into a uh, uh, under update model we have this option called update geometry and I can click that and click this part so this will update all the geometry information in this particular part so you can see here now how the mesh got updated and it gets back into the solid and it's attached to it right now and from here if I wanted to check the feature information on that particular surface it's now 33 so now, now this says the model information, it's, get, it's got updated from the CAD. So because we're integrated, you don't have to recreate your model. Now if the designer, if the designer deleted that hole altogether and uh, created a brand new hole, now we would lose our feature link and then there'd be a separate process to relink our hole to the new CAD feature. Yeah. So in that case, you can see this feature wizard um, icon, which is grayed out, which tells you there is no lost links in this model. So as Gary told, if the links get lost, we can have we have this feature linking wizard active for the user, which they can go ahead and link those features manually and we get the model fixed. So now if you build it. And zoom in. 
So now the whole size is big and when I deviate, I expect the model or this part to float for that particular whole size here. So we didn't take you through the, the process thoroughly, but when that rod locates to the plate, it is literally locating inside that hole. And so now, since that hole locates the rod, you can see it floating around inside the new hole.